This is the ETBU Sportsnet. We're here with head men's basketball coach Brandon Curran, Dion Mack, and Davis Robinson after ETBU took a 106-96 win over Mary Hardin. Baylor go 2-0 on the year in the ASC. Coach, just talk about this win over Mary Hardin. Baylor. At one point in the game, you guys were up uh, over 20 points and pulled out a 10-point lead. Just talk about the win overall against Mary Hardin. Baylor. Yeah, well, first I want to talk about these two guys. Um, these guys, uh, Dion is a senior and Davis is a, a redshirt junior. Both of them have been involved in college basketball now for a long time. And um, I just, I am really excited and I'm appreciative of their attitude and their effort and the way they lead our program selfishly, uh, unselfishly. Um, just their encouragement, their enthusiasm for our team and for our team's success, their, the effort that they put in every single day, the effort they put in when they get opportunities on the court. And uh, I just want to point these two guys out, just how thankful for we are for them and what they do for our culture. Um, and speaking of that, just for the win, I mean, obviously scoring 106 points, hitting 21 threes. Um, the thing that stands out the most is 23 assists to only 13 turnovers. And these guys, are, they're so coachable at halftime. We just talked to them about driving under control, slowing down a little bit. Um, the first half, I felt kind of we were uncharacteristically high on our turnovers. And the second half, I just thought they did a great job of just getting in under control, making kicks, guys hit shots, um, and just played really well together. So we're excited about that. All right, Dion, talk about the defensive play tonight. You guys had some good stops there in the first half and then kind of ran away in the second half there with the offense. But talk about the defense and and having 14 turnovers, forcing them, and how well they played tonight. Um, as a team on the defensive end, uh, we really enjoy uh, going out there and, and defending because we feel that uh, when we play defense, that creates more offense for us because that creates transition baskets, three-pointers, layups, open threes, everything. So we really, we really try to get down and, and guard every single time. So. Davis, talk about the offensive production tonight. You know, 21 three-pointers. Uh, Jordan Gray had six, and Nate Von Nutt had five. You know, just overall that that yeah. seeing that overall, and how the offensive scored 106 points. Well, seeing how hard we work in practice, and Jordan Gray, I can attest to him and give him praise because after Thursday night's game, he was in here at midnight shooting shooting on the gun because um, he went like 0 for 2, 0 for 3 the other night, but um, it just shows that we work and work brings out um, performance. And we definitely performed hitting 21 threes tonight, which is ridiculous. Um, and also, also first half, we were a little, we were a little um, uncontrolled going into the paint, like Coach said, talked about it, and we fixed it. Got in there, got two feet like we work on every day, and um, just really picked them apart offensively. All right, Coach, one final question. just. Talk about uh, the the team being two and zero now, and the atmosphere tonight, and uh, where you guys are at heading into finals week. Yeah, it's fun. I'm I'm really excited for these guys. They're um, I mean they're getting it. They're just they're competing. They're playing really really hard. Um, they're playing for each other. Um, Brady Moore. Uh, gave a, a message to the team today. He's, Brady's a, a freshman that's dealt with injuries all year. He's, he's only been in a, a half of a practice in the preseason one time. Um, he's just had a lot of injuries. And uh, he gave an incredible message. Um, it was basically a short sermon. And, uh, man, he just used a lot of scripture references, and he called these guys brothers and talked about how meaningful it was to be a part of this program, this team, and how these guys were as brothers, and um, talked about handling adversity. And uh, I just feel like these guys have done that. They're a resilient team. They have great poise. <laughs> we talked about that after the last game. And I'm just so thankful to be their coach. I'm really, really, I'm really thankful for them. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us here on the ETB Sportsnet. Thanks.